Any other questions? Okay, so let's all adjourn to the. Oh, yes, sir. I'm sorry. That's fine. Go ahead. I, I was going to ask, what are the top, I guess, you know, top five fish that people are using in such a system? Tilapia, 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 and goldfish. And goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> we have some people raising um, uh, perch, uh, crappie, and they, they do extremely well. Um, I'll, I'll talk more about the aeration when we get out there because this is a super aerated system. If you have access to a DO meter, which are run about $2,500, bucks, um, it will go off. It will go off the chart. And we had endless discussion about fish and nitrogen narcosis, but trust me, it doesn't matter. It, it won't affect the fish. You can't, you can't, I don't think you can over oxygenate it. Okay? So let's, let's go out there. And again, this is a very... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I've never tried raising blackberries in these. Um, so, I can't tell you. Well, the blackberries, I can just put down the fence. Sure. I mean, they grow in really... Um, they, they don't care. They don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Maybe the other you doing compost tea? Yeah, I am. You know what they found? Yeah, so Malcolm, they were having a big uh, uh, sort of a competition mm -hmm. to see whose system made the best compost tea. Uh, Malcolm Beck kind of cheated, and one other person, Bob Webster, cheated by getting water from a fish pond yeah. to yeah. sort of jump Give the charge. Jump start. Yeah. Well, About the two unnamed. winners were the most cheap and the most expensive system, <laughs> Malcolm's and Bob's. <laughs> okay, so uh, so this is a, this is what we call our apartment size aquaponics, and you can tell this is built from totally recycled materials. Some of them are concrete forms, uh, everything. Every barrel that you're looking at here, this is a 15-gallon barrel. These are 30s, and this is a 55. Came from a car wash, and they were free. Sometimes they give them to you for free, sometimes they don't, you know. You can go down to the barrel guy here in uh, San Antonio and pay, I think it's up to 18 bucks now for a yeah, gallon barrel, yeah. something like that. And maybe it's worth it, I don't know. I like free. Okay, so here's the way the system works. This is the pump down here. This is a standard fountain pump. It pumps up through here. You can see it coming out here. And by the way, this is running compost tea, so it's got a little bit of to it, but hey. Okay, and it runs, this is what we call the dump barrel. And the reason is when this thing comes up, you're gonna see it dump. Uh, and when it dumps, it's, it's pretty spectacular. As you can tell, it's just standard water uh, running here. You can adjust the pressure. Sometimes you have to to get the thing to cycling right. This is the siphon. Uh, you're more than well, welcome to look at the siphon. I normally bring one, but I mean, you can see how it works. The only place it's glued is where you see the blue glue. I used to glue them all the way, and then I discovered I couldn't take them apart. The air, lose, I'm sorry. You would think that you would have a problem with that with that joint leaking air down at the bottom, but it's actually underwater. So if it leaks water, big deal. And by the time that thing is really going, that little of air that would leak past it is negligible. Okay, so when this thing dumps, and you're going to see it dump here in about two and a half, three minutes, um, it comes out these pipes that are behind here, and I control the sizes of the orifices so it, it I get equal pressure from front to back. Um, yeah, and these are the orifices here that you can see, this hole here. Uh, you can go bigger, you can go smaller. Um, this is just the system that I like. This is a 5 8 um, hole and then down here I'm using um, a quarter. So any, anybody knows if you're dumping five eighths of an inch of water in there under high pressure and it's coming out under low pressure down here in a quarter hole, this has got to build up. So that's the idea. This is called flood and ebb. Flood and ebb. And if you'll notice these are in a drip drip stage and that tells you that all the water is as out of here, when I say all the water, I'm really lying because there's lots and lots and lots of water clinging to those pebbles. But what this does is this lets the roots aerate. And when the roots get extra oxygen, instead of being closed in tight soil, they grow twice, three times faster. How do you okay? keep the, the deer and things out of that? That the looks deer? Like, like eating level. 
Well, we haven't had any problem here. It's a buffet. I, we fenced <laughs> ours in with, with that four by four, six foot tall fencing uh, with electric around it, and we haven't had any deer problems. As you can see, we've had some bug problems. Yeah, now we've had some bug problems. This happened since the last time I was here. Okay, now the water, the water is starting to come up here, and it's hard to see here. I'll move this leaf. Uh, in a second, the water is going to start trickling out of this one. Here, see it? Starting to trickle right now. Mm -hmm. See the water starting to trickle? Okay, water's like syrup. It likes to join other water. So the more water that pumps up here, the faster this flows. Now you can see this is getting a pretty good flow going here. And over here it's starting to drip. Okay, and as this water rises, when it gets up about right now, then it's going to start initiating and look. Watch it blow out. And that is not pump, that is actually natural flow of water. So as this thing fills up, um, I have these little areas here that you can look at. And um, you'll watch, this, this tank is actually flooding a little bit more and I probably need to increase the size of this orifice. But it's been running this way for how long? Three weeks now? Yeah. And there's no ill effects on any of the plants. So you can see this, the water level is going down here. Uh, this, is the, this is the bottom of, of where it will actually, the siphon will stop, it'll suck air and enough air that it, that it stops. Um, the level is starting to come up here. If you look, you can start to see the water level coming up in this one and it'll be followed by this one here. You know, actually, you know, it doesn't wash the roots. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. I mean, there's no dirt on the roots, so it's just this mass of roots. And I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up a onion plant here in a minute and let you look at the roots. Um, but the water level is starting to rise here. You can look over here and you can see the water level, and it's actually going to get up to the overflow, which is why we have overflows. Now we did a system here where actually the overflow and this connects. And I, and I don't suggest using that system unless your system is pretty well balanced. Um, this is a whole lot easier way to do it. I would just shorten in the pipe here. Actually, what happened was I ran out of pipe. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're getting a little bit closer to where the siphon is going to cut off, and you'll hear this glunk sound. This, you know, you'll hear the air actually sucking into it. And if you'll notice that this tomato plant is really going to town, and this is a patio. Um, Okay, now see we're getting a little overflow action. This is from the overflow. But if you'll notice these, these are going at full pressure. And in just a minute, it's going to cut off. I'm going to go ahead and fix it where it turns off faster. Okay, it should have turned off. I just threw a few extra bubbles under. Now you can see these are still going, and you can see the water level is up, not up to the drain now, so it's slowly going out. But we've already seen the drip drip action, so we know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one of these onion plants out. See, so the roots come out clean. Mm -hmm. Now, if you'll smell of this onion, this is probably the most oniony smell that you've ever smelled. And the tomatoes have a, a taste that's unbelievable. I mean, it, it, they just, you know, it's got that extra aroma, you know. And so, you Are know, there's there's nothing. Is that, yeah. Did I understand you right? This is three weeks old? No, we moved it from Sati. So it's actually six weeks old, and mm -hmm. we started all these plants from just little seedlings. There were some red tomatoes on there. Already. Yeah, yeah. Have you been getting tomatoes off of it? <laughs> no, I mean, there were some. Yeah, there are some red tomatoes. Somebody's been getting them. I mean, yeah. that's that's fine. This is that's what it's for. Here for you. Uh, but you can here. Here's a good way to tell what the aquaponics mm -hmm. smell of this basil. I mean, this is like an unbelievable basil. Would you? Uh... Yeah, you can smell it from. Yeah, I smell it. Yeah, oh, see, it's a. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's just got a really good sweet, sweet basil. What did you use to cut the barrels? Um, I used a jigsaw to cut the barrels, just a standard jigsaw. You need to use the longer blade. 
because when you start sawing through these back where the bones are, you need the longer blade instead of the shorter. So anything you haven't been able to grow? Yeah, I, I use a sawzall. Um, I've used a skill saw. You gotta watch those babies, they'll get away from you. Um, the top here, I used a jigsaw, and I actually don't normally cut this panel out. I did this so people can actually poke your head in and see. Um, this one I cut out with a jigsaw here. Um, if you're doing it for